Hello everyone, in this video I will show you how to use the RPI GPIO as output pin to control multiple LEDs and later I will show you how to control the brightness of an LED using PWM. The model which I am using is RPI model B. This model has 26 pins which are currently shown on your screens. The RPI extension board which I am using has 8 LEDs and they are connected to the RPI pins as shown on the screen. This is my setup for powering up RPI use a good rating adapter. I am using a 5V 2A adapter for powering up the RPI. As you can see clearly that I didn't use any mouse or keyboard only ethernet cable is connected and I will control my RPI from Windows PC using SSH connection established using PuTTY. SSH connection is enabled by default in RPI and even if not enabled you just have to enable it under RPI config configuration of RPI. Now open PuTTY and type the IP address of your RPI. In my case it is 192.168.0. Dot one, and then open the session. Now enter your login ID and password. I am using the default ID pi and default password raspberry for logging in. I already write the program to control the LEDs and will explain this program at last. We just have to run this program present in the program LED blink folder. For this we will use the cd command to navigate into the correct folder and then we will run the program. Now we will use the command python led blink dot pi to run the program. As you can see clearly uh, that all the leds turn on and off in a sequential manner. Please do not turn all leds on directly from rpi if not required as this can reduce the rpi life use external power source to do such things. Now I will explain the RPI GPIO library and the program used to control the LEDs. By default the GPIO library is pre-installed with the OS but if it is not installed you can use the sudo apt get install RPI GPIO command to install the library. To set the pin mode use command gpio.set mode. I prefer using gpio.board for future compatibility. Use gpio.setup command along with the pin number to set that pin as input or output pin. Use gpio.output command along with the pin number to change the state of the pin and gpio.input command to read the state of the pin. So guys this is the program which runs on the RPI for controlling the LEDs. These are the pins with which my LEDs are connected. The first step is to import the RPI GPIO library and the time library for providing the delay. All the pin numbers with which LEDs are connected are stored in LED array to control the LEDs easily. This is the main part of the program and rest are the exception cases. After exiting the program GPIO cleanup is called. This is used to clean all the ports you have used. Now coming to the main part of the program, we are going to use the gpio.board mode in our program and after that we initialize all the pins with which LEDs are connected as output pins and reset their status to low so that all the LEDs are off by default. Now coming to the next section. In this loop we first turn on the first pin high and then print its status and then give a small delay of 500 millisecond and after that we turn off this pin and print its status and then give a small delay and after that we repeat the whole sequence for all LEDs. You can download this program from my blog and in case of any problem please leave a comment below.